Hi, Dave Cahill here in beautiful Palm Springs at our Cahill Golf School. And today we're going to talk about the very important topic of putting. After working uh, and exploring the best putting techniques over a period of 30 years, both Mike Cahill and I have come up with what we think is the very best putting technique uh, that anybody has in the world. It's very, very simple and it works from a one simple pendulum point or one pivotal point and if you're right-handed it might be in your right hand and if you're left-handed it might be in your left hand but it could be different depending on, uh, on what works best for you. So we do a little test to start out with like this. The first test that you'll want to try is like this. So we're going to just take several balls, maybe even uh, six or seven balls and we're going to hold the putter in our right hand only at a hole and so what we're going to do is putt using our right hand only and I'll just get a feel for what seems to be working the best for me. Okay, then what I do after hitting several of those putts, I'm going to hold it in my left hand only and so now I'm going to try and make some putts using my left and if I were doing this with a student, I'd just observe you know, what worked best and I would ask the student questions about what felt most comfortable, what seemed the most coordinated and so I would go ahead and do that for several putts. I might do it as many as six putts. Whichever way seemed most comfortable and coordinated for that person and I can tell immediately for me, um, although I'm putting quite well with my left, that it seems a lot clumsier uh, using my left. Okay, and so once we've established which uh, arm we're going to putt with, whether it's our right or left, we're going to hold it, let's say, for instance, in our right arm here. And what we're going to do is hold, or, or our grip that we're going to use is right in the palm of our hands. We point our fingers down, and we're going to put it right along our life hand, lifeline and then close our fingers up. And so it's a very simple kind of putt. So the palm of my hand is facing the direction I'm going, and the back of my hand is facing away from it. And that's our very, very simple grip nothing much to it and we're going to just putt with, uh, with one arm and that grip. Okay, so we're not doing anything beyond that at this point. We're just holding it in our, in our right hand or our left hand right in the palm of our hand and so we're going to get used to that idea first and what it feels like just to hold it that way and then we're just lining it up and we're going to hit it just swinging from our central fulcrum point uh, which is right here. There's nothing more to it than that. All right, now that I've established uh, which arm I'm going to use or which hand I'm going to hold the putter in, it might be on my right or my left, and let's say for me I'm right-handed, so I'm holding it in my right. And I've also talked about how we're going to hold it just in the palm of our hand, facing, fingers wrapped around, very, very simple. So now, uh, the advantage of putting this way is that there's one pivotal point with no other moving parts. You might have noticed that the tour players sometimes practice a little bit with just one arm just to get the feel, but you'll notice that when I'm doing this there's only one thing that's moving, or one point that the swing is moving from, and that's this shoulder right here. So I'm not using my wrist and I'm not using my elbow. All I'm doing is going back and forth from this one pivotal point. Also notice something else, very important, that when I do this little stroke, I'm not having my hips move and I'm not having my shoulders move back and forth at all. This very much simple, simplifies the swing. There's not much going on. All it is is just this nice little motion that is with my arm. And so notice that my sternum is staying quiet, right here, this central point. That my shoulders are quiet, nothing's going on there, and nothing's going on with my hips. This is a very, very simple stroke. This is why it works so well. Okay, so the next thing I do with my students is that we're going to hit, uh, you know, a dozen or two dozen putts. And what we're going to do at this point is, you know, we've got, we're holding it correctly. We're going to do it with just one arm, pivotal point. We're going to pay attention to our sternum staying very, very quiet. So there's no rocking motion, nothing from the side. And our hips are also going to stay very quiet. And we're only going to work on that one thing at this point. So we just line up, and all we're going to do is just stay, line up and everything's going to be quiet and the only thing that's happening is that I'm going back and forth from that one pivotal point. That's it. Nothing else is going on other than that. And so they might hit 20 putts until they get the feel for that. And eventually what happens is that once you get it lined up right, you start making putts. Okay, so 
a lot of times there's a little there's a misconception that when we're putting whether it's from this fulcrum point or any other putt that we're going straight back and straight through along this line and that's not really the case just like it's not the case when we're actually hitting full shots because this club you'll notice the shaft is at an angle and this angle that it's at is actually an inclined plane so when we take the putter back it doesn't go straight back it actually goes up this inclined plane that matches this shaft so it's going a little bit inside and then when it comes over on the other side that inclined plane is over here so it follows up the inclined plane on that side so it's not straight back and straight through if you're going to watch this when you're putting if you have a line on the ground when you're going to putt you'll notice that when you take it, take it back that it actually comes inside the line a little bit and then when you swing forward it'll come back on this side just a little bit as well. So you're not trying to force it back this way and you're not trying to force it back this way. You're letting it freely swing back and forth from your shoulder this way and then it goes inside a little bit up the plane line on the way back and a little bit up the plane line on the way forward. And that's just because you're letting this go very nice and smoothly from this fulcrum point without forcing it and forcing it. It's just back and forth. And when you just allow it to swing back and forth, it'll go up the inclined plane on the back and up the inclined plane on the way forward. One of the best ways to practice this actually is if you have a line on the ground and you can visually see it. In this case, I have a stick on the ground, but even better would be if I had a chalk line on the ground. Or let's say in this case if I just have a stick on the ground, a lot of times people have, you may have a practice aid stick. So if I'm going to go in the direction, you'll notice that I can visually see that as I go back that it's coming a little bit over the stick on this side and then on the forward side it's coming closer to the stick on that side. So I come back and look at just a little bit over the stick there and then just a little bit over here. So you can actually see that as you putt that it does that. All right, so now the next question that comes up is, should I just keep on putting with one hand the whole time? Well, you know, actually you can do that, and there have been some very successful tour players that have done that exact same thing, and all they've done is just make all their putts just with this one arm. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, you can take and put your other hand just like you're doing a high five, and all we're doing is without grasping, we're just going to take the, the opposite hand and we're going to lay it just very gently, just for stability. And now what we have to do is this lead arm on this side, we have to let this elbow very relaxed and very relaxed. It's going to tuck in, tuck in on the way through so that we're not uh, moving our shoulders around. So when we go back, okay, now when we come forward, this is going to go like this. So you see how this right elbow just kind of tucks in. And if I do that, then I don't have to move my sternum very gently like that.